Good morning, students. Now, in this session, we will start new chapter that is practical geometry. And today, we will start exercise 14.1. And I will explain three sums. The first three sums that is question number one, two, and three. For this particular chapter, you have to use plain copy. Okay. Now, according to the first question, you have to draw a circle with a radius 3.2 centimeters. So, first thing that you have to draw is you have to draw a line of measurement 3.2 centimeters. See, I've already drawn the line. Okay. Now, after you have drawn the line, you have to measure it with the compass. Like this. Okay. With the help of compass, you have to measure it like this. And then, with this measurement, you just put the compass anywhere on the plain paper. And then, you draw a circle. Okay, so this is a required circle. Now, finally, what you have to do, you have to draw one line from here. This is your center. Fine, draw a line from here like this with the help of a ruler. Okay, like this. Fine, so this would be your radius that is 3.2 centimeter. Okay. So this is the solution of question number one. Now let's move on to sum number two. Now in sum number two, two you have uh, with the same center O draw two circles of radius four centimeter and two point five centimeter. So uh, with the same center you have to draw two circles. One should measure four centimeter. See, I've already drawn one line of measurement four centimeter, and another line you should draw another radius would be. 2.5 centimeter. So what you have to do, you have to first measure this line that is 4.4 centimeter line. Okay, In just a minute. So this is the measurement of 4 centimeter. Draw one circle here. So this is a circle with a radius of 4 cm and another this is your center point so mark the center properly okay so this is your center now you have to draw another circle with the same center and that would be of radius 2.5 so you have to measure this line and you have to put it here and draw the circle Like this so it will look like this okay so these two circles are called concentric circle concentric circles okay now this you have to draw one line like this you have to write it down 2.5 centimeter and with the help of a ruler you have to draw another line like this fine and you have to write this as 4 centimeter okay so these are the two solutions now let's move on to sum number three now in question number three we have two parts first of all we have to draw a circle like this fine so you have to draw a circle then you have to draw two diameters okay now whatever i am doing now you have to do this with the help of a scale okay so you have to draw two diameters students like this this is one diameter you have to draw you know that a line which passes through the center is called a diameter and another diameter you have to draw like this that's a crisscross like this so these are the two diameters that you have to draw just after drawing the circle now in the first part you have to join the end points of the diameters that is these are the end points so this you have to join This is also one end point of a diameter. So this is also you have to join. This is also you have to join. And this is also you have to join. Fine. So after joining all the end points of the diameter, what figure you are getting? You will get the figure as rectangle. Fine. And just name this as A, B, C and D. Now, if you measure this CD and AB, you will find that these two will be equal to each other. And if you measure this AD and BC with scale, you will find this the measurement of these two lines will be equal to each other. 
and also with the help of a protector if you measure this angle this angle would be also 90 degrees so so all so these are the details that you have to give why rectangle because ab would be equal to dc ad would be equals to bc and angle adc would be equals to 90 degrees so all the angles will measure 90 degrees so this is <coughs> why we are saying that abcd is a rectangle fine now in part 2 we have to again draw a circle Fine. This is what you have to draw. This is the center point. Now, this time the diameter should not be like this. The diameter should be perpendicular to each other. So, this is how you have to draw the diameter like this. And another diameter should come, should go like this. As if it should form 90 degree here. Okay. So, after drawing this diameter, you have to again join what? You have to again join the end points. Of the diameters. This join the diameters. Fine. So once you are done with this drawing, you will find that it is a required square. As because when you will measure all the side, you will find that all the side will measure same. Fine. So what is, what is the name of this figure? You will write it down as square. Okay, this is a square. And why it is a square? Because all the sides are equal. Only B equals to BC equals to CB, AB, BC, AB, BC, CD, and then equals to AD. Okay, so all the sides measures equal, and the diagonals where the <coughs> Where the diagonals intersect, it also measures 90 degree. Okay, so angle AOB, so you can write angle AOB equals to angle AOB, AOD, these are all 90 degree. So this is why we are saying that this is a square. All the sides are equal, and for this, the opposite sides are equal. Okay, so this is the solution of sum number 3. So for this session, we will do only these three questions. Okay, thank you so much. Take care all of you and stay blessed.